Hi everybody, I want to read you something from a book called The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. Okay, now interesting. The fact is, however, external changes are not going to solve your problem because they don't address the root of your problem. The root problem is that you don't feel whole and complete within yourself. If you don't identify the root properly, you will seek someone or something to cover it up. You will hide behind finances, people, fame and adoration. If you try to find the perfect person to love and adore you and you manage to succeed, then you have actually failed. You did not solve your problem. All you did was involve that person in your problem. This is why people have so much trouble with relationships. You begin with a problem inside yourself and you try and solve it by getting involved with somebody else. That relationship will have problems because your problems are what caused the relationship. It is all so easy to see once you step back and dare to take a look at it honestly. Now that you have seen what failure looks like, let's define success. Success regarding your psyche is comparable to health regarding your physical body. Success means you never have to think about your psyche again. A naturally healthy body is one that just does what it's supposed to do while you're going about your business. You never have to think about it. Likewise, you should never have to figure out how to be okay or how to not be scared or how to feel loved. You should not have to devote your life to your psyche. Imagine what fun life would be if you didn't have those neurotic personal thoughts going on within you. You could enjoy things. You could actually get to know people instead of needing them. You could just live and experience your life instead of trying to use life to fix what is wrong inside of you. You are capable of achieving this state. It is never too late. Thank you, Michael Singer. Michael Singer has got some wonderful interviews while well, people interviewing him and also he's written two books, this book and the uh, Surrender Experiment which was an amazing read. I will put the links down to his interviews and also where he talks about the books and he talks about his own personal journey with surrender. I know a lot of you have been asking me how do I let go, how do I surrender and he is someone who has done a lot of work in that area to not just experience it, but to explain it. Okay, so I will put those down below for you. Lots of love, lots of love, lots of love.